Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily import your Windows Store games and your Xbox Game Pass games into LaunchBox and Big Box. This is actually pretty simple to do. And if you're not familiar with Game Pass, uh, then you probably should be if you're a PC gamer. There's a lot of great stuff here. And we now have the ability to import everything into LaunchBox and Big Box so we can start it up directly from here. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So obviously the first thing you're going to need are some Windows Store games downloaded to the PC you have LaunchBox running on, or some Game Pass games. Through Game Pass, I have four games installed. I think I have a couple through the Windows Store. But once I show you how to do this, it'll actually scan both of those directories and let me know exactly what I have installed on my system. So from within LaunchBox, we're going to go to the drop-down menu, Tools, Import, and we're going to find the Xbox Microsoft Store games. We're going to choose this, open it up, make sure you read through the import wizard. From here, I do want to import these as Windows games because they are PC games, so I'll leave it right there. I'm going to search for game information in the local metadata database. When you're importing anything, you'll have the option to deselect or select whatever kind of artwork you want to download. I'm going to leave everything checked here. When it comes to specifying any custom options, the one thing that I always choose with the Xbox and Windows Store game importer is force new login attempt. This will allow it to scan for new games that I have installed or new games that I've purchased. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this one, choose next, and now it's gonna bring up an Xbox or a Microsoft login page. From here, you need to log in with the account you have signed up for the Windows Store or the Game Pass app. And once you do that, it's gonna parse my games and everything that I have actually downloaded in the past will be listed here. But on the initial scan, it's actually going to look for games that I already have installed on this PC. And I do have a few here. If you want to select everything and import it now, you can. But keep in mind, in order to launch it or start it through LaunchBox and BigBox, it has to be installed. But for this here, I've got a few games already installed, ready to go. I'm going to choose Finish. And now it's going to import those games and download the metadata. Now with the newer versions of LaunchBox, we no longer have to wait for it to download the artwork before we start a game. It'll import the game and the metadata first, and then in the background, it'll start downloading all of our artwork for us. So I'm going to give this a second. And you'll see my four games are now imported. But uh, in the background, it's now downloading all of that artwork for us. So if we go through here, you can see that I have a few games that were imported from the Windows Store and the Game Pass app. We have Asphalt, Lonely Mountains Downhill, and I have a totally accurate battle simulator right here. If I want to start right now, I can, and it's just going to download that artwork in the background. So I'm going to go with the Lonely Mountains Downhill. And there we have it. We've now started this Game Pass game through LaunchBox. This also works with Big Box. And in order to exit, you're going to exit it just like you would with any other PC game. So I'll quit the desktop. And by the time I was finished showing that off, it actually downloaded all of the artwork for me for each of those games that I had imported. So yeah, it's really simple to get these Windows Store games and the Game Pass games imported into LaunchBox and Big Box. And as you saw with this tutorial, it was pretty easy to do. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>